as soon as uh, you have uh, processes where you have uh, parts in contact to each other, it can be a part that are sliding together or you have a solid into a liquid, you can uh, come up uh, to phenomena like uh, abrasion, corrosion, erosion. So all of these are uh, phenomena where you can encounter some wear. And uh, there are many processes, industrial processes, where you can find uh, wear. And there are also many strategies to avoid uh, wear phenomena. It can be by uh, working on the design, making some changes. But one of those strategies is also to uh, use uh, wear resistant components. And a wear component, a wear part, is exactly this. It's using, it's a component made by a material which is wear resistant. And uh, among uh, different uh, wear resistant materials in nature, tungsten carbide is a very good example of this. Tungsten carbide is uh, made by uh, an inorganic compound, uh, tungsten carbide, uh, bound together by a metallic phase, uh, which can be, uh, for instance, cobalt, nickel, or other kind of metallic elements. The singularity, I would say, of uh, tungsten carbide is that uh, uh, by using uh, uh, different proportion in weight of the different elements making the tungsten carbide, and also by playing on the size of the grains of the tungsten carbide powder, you can achieve a kind of wide range of properties which uh, basically can, can be tailored to the specific process uh, or the specific properties that you want to achieve. So depending uh, on uh, whether you want more wear resistance, more uh, resistant to fracture, etc., you can really customize your material. There are many different properties that you can achieve with uh, tungsten carbide. I would say the two main important ones, the ones that uh, people talk more about, are uh, uh, hardness and toughness. The harder a material, the higher the wear resistance. And the tougher a material, the higher the resistance to the fracture. Um, in nature, and the ideal material would have the highest toughness and the highest hardness. The problem is that this material doesn't exist in nature. However, tungsten carbide is a, a I would say, very smart material where you can basically combine uh, those two properties to get uh, um, a material which is uh, ha uh, hard and tough to uh, resist to the most difficult uh, processes where, where phenomena can appear. Wear parts uh, can be used in many, many different uh, industrial processes. Um, if I uh, talk about uh, Hyperion, we have uh, examples of wear applications uh, a bit everywhere in uh, many, many different industrial areas. We can go from uh, the medical area, for instance, uh, uh, the dental sector with uh, dental burrs, uh, but we can go uh, to the fluid handling, fluid processing uh, applications with the canters, home homogenizers or even uh, mechanical searings where by the way it's more the corrosion in this case instead of uh, the, the friction or the erosion. We can have examples of wear parts in forming tools like for instance stamping blocks used to stamp electronic components uh, but we have also examples in uh, automotive, uh, aeronautics industry, construction, textile, etc., etc. So it's a very wide range of, of industrial areas. And I would say the secret is, uh, or the value, the added value that Hyperion can bring, is a deep understanding of the customer process to tailor, to select correct properties, the most suitable properties of tungsten carbide to cope with the um, constraints or with the limits of the process of the customer and bring productivity uh, to uh, the customer process. The mission of uh, Hyperion is to improve the, our customer productivity. To do that, um, you have to start from quality ingredients. Um, when I talk about ingredients, this is, I would say, uh, uh, a good powder uh, and a good knowledge of the uh, different uh, 
weight um, of the proportion uh, that uh, you should use to combine the material together. Of course, having quality ingredients is not enough. You have also to know how to use them and how to cook them. So uh, there is also the knowledge of the process, which is very, very important. This is only a part of the success that you can achieve. If you only have this, you might be able to bring a solution to, it, to the customer. But the real success of Hyperion is to be able to uh, be an advisor to the customer. And this can be achieved by really understanding the needs of the customer, having a deep knowledge of the customer process, and bringing the most suitable design, which is based on the specific characteristics of the tungsten carbide powder, together with the uh, match to the customer process. By matching those two characteristics, we can really design the most suitable uh, wear component, which can bring this productivity improvement to the customer and, and uh, eventually generate the savings that the customer is looking for. Hyperion is a global company. We are able to uh, uh, service our customers everywhere around the world. We have today five production units which, where we can uh, produce wear components. And uh, the selection of uh, where to produce is basically driven by capabilities. So depending on uh, which production unit is most suitable to produce a specific products rather than another, but also the proximity to the customer. Apart from that, uh, we also have uh, people, uh, engineers and sales people, technical salespeople, who can assist the customers locally, everywhere around the world. So we have a global reach and uh, um, through our uh, effective uh, supply chain, we can uh, ship wear components everywhere around the world.